You forget bun for that. You forget gunshot. You forget gunshot, bro. You forget gunshot. But yeah, there's mums out here who they have a husband or new boyfriend, whatever, and he is interfering with the daughter. It's not his. Damn, man, I don't give a fuck. Who? Anyway, he's interfering with the daughter. And she don't say no. She's telling a blind eye. But you saw, you saw that man come out of that room at one, two in the morning. What are you doing in there? So parents who choose spouses over their, their kids. Now, they might, so there's parents like mums, let's say, or dads, mums or dads. They might just choose the, the, the spouse over their kids in little minor altercations. It might be something called dumb argument. So the mum has got a new husband or the dad has got a new wife and the new spouse, wife or husband, whatever, whatever, has moved into the house. For whatever reason, the youth's biological mum or father is not in the picture or they don't live in that house. Anyway, the parent, either the mum gets a new husband or the dad gets a new wife or just a boyfriend or girlfriend. Don't have to be a marital thing or whatever. Don't have to be technical like that. So um, there's parents who choose the spouse over the kid and that. But it might just be something minor, like an argument and that. But sometimes the thing progresses and that. I know a man, he, his mum got married and they lived in a two-bed house. This is around the corner from man's mum's yard. They lived in a two-bed house. The mum got married to some man. And the son is of an age where maybe he should be moving out. He shouldn't be living at home. He's all 20-something, whatever, isn't it? The man has moved into the guy who I know's house. Yeah, so the man has moved into his wife's house. And the man has a daughter. His daughter used to live with him. Well, he lives with him. So obviously if he moves, then the daughter has to follow him out because obviously she lives with him, innit? So he's moved into his wife, his new wife's house, which is dumb. Yeah, you don't move into no fucking woman's house. You're a grown ass mate. You're supposed to own your own fucking place. Man, them, don't move into no girl's yard. Don't even mortgage in no yard with no gap. Yeah, get your own things. Yeah. Anyway, a man's dumb enough to move in with a woman. So anyway, he's moved into his, his woman's house, his wife's house. And the son, who's been living there since day dot, day dot one, the son has been living there since day dot one, he's lost his room because the guy's daughter needs a room. So the son has to go and sleep on a sofa downstairs. That ain't right. That ain't fucking right. How the fuck are you? I'm not saying women just do it. Men will do dumbness like that as well. So imagine if that happened to me. I'm living in my yard with my mum. It's always been me and my mum. My mum gets married and her new husband has a you. He probably has left the council house to move into my mum's house because my mum owns the property. That's the situation. I've been here since day dot. That's always been my room from day one. But now I have to give up my room because this single dad needs a room for his child. So I have to go downstairs and sleep on the sofa. I don't give a fuck if I'm at an age where I should be moving up. A man's only in his 20s and now. A man's not exactly 40 years old. A man should not be dealt with like that. Especially if a man, obviously, I don't know if the man was on the right path saving up to buy a property. I don't know how, you know, I can't defend a man too much, but still, that should not happen. You're getting evicted from your room because a new man has stepped in the yard and he brought his baggage along with him. Literally, he's brought his baggage along with him. He needs a storage place for his youth. And that storage place is your room. You've got to go downstairs, man. Uh, duh, 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 duh. So anyway, I was working. Um, yeah, this next one, I was working at um, on this contract in Northampton, and I met some white girl, 
Um, she lives near the town centre or whatever, innit? So anyway, I phoned, because when I get the tenants' numbers and that, I phoned them first to say, yeah, boom, it's the electrician, I'm coming. It'll be like 30 minutes or something, innit? So anyway, she's like, yeah, I'm at, I'm at, I'm at the house. I'm just here um, house-sitting or whatever. I said, boom, I've gone there now. And I'm walking around in the house. She's showing me around the house. And she said, oh, um, yeah, my dad has gone out or whatever, innit? Yeah, but... Um, yeah, he ain't gonna be back too late or whatever. Just make a conversation, or whatever, innit? So I'm like, oh, okay, so this is your. So hold on a minute, these little boys here are your little brothers. So she was looking after the little boys as well. So she was babysitting and house sitting. So she was like, yeah, these are my brothers or whatever, innit? Yeah. I'm like, oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. So obviously she said, yeah, it's her dad's house, whatever, innit? Yeah. Then she went on to say, like, yeah, this is her family house. So she grew up in this house, whatever, innit? Cool. So anyway, we're chatting now, and she said to me, she don't have a job. Remember, this girl's like 20 something. She don't have a job, and also she's unemployed, and she has no way to live. Because I said to her, oh, um, if you live in a council flat or council house, then you're gonna have this done. So look out for my company's logo when you get the letter. She was like, no, 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 I don't, I don't live in a council house. She was like, oh, I live, I, I don't even have a house. I sleep on people's sofa. She says she's sofa hopping at the moment, you know. I was like, rough. And obviously, it was her family house that she grew up in that we was in. So I'm walking around this house, and there's literally a spare room that she could have. But I know there's some issue with that girl and the new wife, because the way she spoke about the new wife, she didn't say anything mad or bad. But I can tell that there's an issue with the, the door who live and, lived and grew up in the house and the new wife. Now, obviously, my name get down to the details or nothing like that. But I knew there's a reason because of how the fuck... Like, it's just mad that a man could have a daughter that's sleeping on people's sofas, but there's a spare room in the house that she grew up in, but she can't have that spare room, or at least fucking occupy the sofa in the house that she grew up in. There's some issue with the girl, the daughter of the man, and this new wife that's moved in. Obviously, what I don't know on it, but that just reminded me like, of the situation with the youth that I said had to be relegated to the sofa and that. There's parents who would choose the spouse over the fucking kids, which is wrong. Nah, man, your youths come first. Your youths come first. But that's what happens. People love is blind. Love is blind, man. And if you thought that was bad, so you got men who have been kicked out of their bedroom and have to go and sleep downstairs on the sofa. You got a chick that I just mentioned who is sleeping on other people's sofas and different like friends' houses and that because they can't live at their parents' house for some mad issue with the the stepmom or whatever in it, the mom, the dad's new wife. You know, and this is a dark one as well, isn't it? This is the maddest thing ever. The maddest thing ever. Let me get rid of my, my thing. So you got parents who obviously they put their spouse, their new wife, their new husband, whatever, whatever, in front of the kid. They'll prioritize the, the new wife or husband, whatever, in it. Yeah. You know, there were some women in this world. And this is the saddest, maddest thing ever. There's some women in this world, they will get a new husband or new boyfriend. Don't even have to be official like that. New boyfriend, new husband, whatever. Isn't it? They will know that that new boyfriend or new husband is sexually abusing their daughter, her daughter. They will know that this new boyfriend, this new husband, is sexually abusing her daughter. She might not have seen nothing, but she knows. She knows something ain't right. Man shouldn't be walking out of the room at two in the morning. Man's hearing, I don't even want to say, you understand? Man, not even, you don't, yeah, I ain't even want to say, yeah, you fill in the blanks. I ain't even want to say what I need to say, but man's here, she's hearing certain things in the night that I ain't even going to say. But she ain't addressing it. But she knows. 
You 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 saw that guy come out of that room at inappropriate times of the night, but you didn't say nothing. There were women out here who will have boyfriends and or husbands who sexually abuse their daughters and they don't say nothing because they don't want to lose the man for whatever reason because they love him or if shit hits the fan he's the breadwinner and they're living some fantastic lifestyle or a better lifestyle that they had when the man wasn't in the picture so you know what they'll do they won't say nothing they won't say nothing trust me there's bare girls out here they get abused by their stepdad whether it's the mom's boyfriend is a stepdad or a husband whatever in it but the man in the house who's not their dad sexually abuses them and the mom don't say nothing maybe she's scared that the guy is going to retaliate on her or he's going to leave whatever who gives a fuck blood ain't your youth safety more important than this man you're telling me you wouldn't rather live in a shed Where your daughter's safe over living in a, a seemingly safe environment with a man that's going to be abusing your daughter. You mad. You lost your fucking mind, bro. Man, forget bun for that. You know what I said earlier about you know, I ain't trying to incite no violence. Uh, yeah, man, forget. You forget bun for that. You forget bun for that. You forget gunshot for that. I don't give a fuck. They can cancel my my YouTube channel. I don't give a fuck. You forget bun for that. You forget gunshot. You forget gunshot, bro. You forget gunshot. But yeah, there's mums out here who they have a husband or new boyfriend, whatever, and he is interfering with the daughter. He's not his. Damn man, I don't give a fuck. Who? Anyway, he's interfering with the daughter. And she don't say no, she's selling a blind eye. But you saw, you saw that man come out of that room at one, two in the morning. What are you doing in there? What are you, doing? What are you, what are you even doing in her in room? Or, or you heard, you, you, you heard him leave your bedroom at one, two in the morning and he didn't go to the toilet and he didn't go down the stairs but he went into the other room on the, the landing and the only other room on the landing is your daughter's room and he didn't come out there for 30 minutes. What was he doing? There's women out here in that situation. It's mad, madness. There's women out here. They know that the boyfriend, the husband, whatever, whatever, whatever is sexually abusing the daughter, but they don't do nothing about it because they don't want to lose the man. They don't want to lose the lifestyle, but we should be willing to be like the fucking man out of pursuit of happiness, live in a fucking toilet cubicle of your youth to keep your youth safe out of harm's way. There's plenty of danger out on the streets which you can't control, but you're supposed to be able to control the yard and who comes in and out and how safe the, the house is. One of the worst things is to be in danger in your own house. Your house is supposed to be a safe haven. Your house is supposed to be like your underground bunker where you go to where there's no trouble or no danger. <laughs> imagine, imagine being in your house and you, you're at danger. That's madness. That's madness. So my advice to any women who have daughters if you have, if you, if you, as a woman, single mom watching this right now, whatever, it? Yeah. If you have a daughter, if you want to have a boyfriend, fine, but don't make him come over to the house. Yeah. And you might say, oh, well, so just because I'm a single mom, whatever, in it, yeah, I'm not allowed to have a boyfriend or whatever, in it. Yeah. Well, this is the price you pay yeah, for picking the wrong man. Now, sometimes women do pick the right men and things, you know, don't go. But you know what? Until your daughter reaches a certain age, possibly, 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 I'd say don't bring any men to your house like that. If you want to have a boyfriend, go go to his house. Go check him at his house. Don't let a man move into your house. Always make sure. And if your man is in your house, 
always make sure that the man is you're supervising your daughter when, when the man's around or whatever. Like, trust me. The best stories out there, trust me, man read a lot. Um, sorry, I don't read, I don't read that. I, I told you the man don't read, never read a book before. A man watch a lot of stuff, man hear a lot of stories from people that man's know and you get me. I remember hearing stories when man's a you and that and get me when I'm older and stuff. Man chat to bare people, man know, man see things on TV.